Hi, Hess School family, how are you? Today I have a new story for us and it is, I'm going to be a vet. And vet is a short way of saying veterinarian. It's like a smaller version of it. And, but they still do the same thing. A vet is still a veterinarian, just a different way to say it. And it is about this little girl who wants to be a veterinarian. And what do veterinarians do? Do you remember? What do they, who do they take care of? Animals, yeah, they're animal doctors. So we are gonna read about an animal doctor or how she wants to be one, a veterinarian. Okay, are you ready? All right. My name is Nicole. Some people call me Nikki. And that's her right here. This is Nicole or Nikki. I am five years old. I live with mommy, daddy, and my little brother, Carl. My dad is a veterinarian. I want to be a veterinarian too. So she wants to be a veterinarian like her dad. Daddy works in the animal hospital and he works with Dr. Brown. This is Dr. Brown down here. And then this is her dad. Sometimes on weekends, our whole family visits the animal hospital. Daddy writes up some notes. What do you think his notes are about? What do you think he's writing about? Hmm, what do veterinarians write about? What do you think? Daddy lets me look through the microscope. Hold this cat, Peanut, he says. Peanut is a special name for me. I hold the cat while Daddy puts some medicine in, its, in her ear. On the way out, Carl takes a ride on the iron dog in the yard. So she's helping her dad give medicine to that cat. Dad has a long day. From early in the morning to late at night, the waiting room at the hospital is always full. Look, this person has a doggy inside her sweater. Oh my goodness, there's a cat and another one. From early in the morning to late at night, People and pets are always coming up and down the sidewalk. My dad sees lots of animals. He listens to their hearts with a stethoscope. He feels their tummy to make sure nothing is swollen. So just like people doctors, veterinarians use stethoscopes too to listen to our hearts. He looks into their ears and sometimes he gives a shot. You are all right, Fuzzy. Daddy weighs each animal. This little kitty weighs only two pounds. That's very light. Why do you think he looks into their ears? Why do you think he does that? He looks into them to see if they're any, if they're red or irritated, because then that shows that he might be sick or sometimes there might be some gunky stuff in there that he has to clean out that they might be sick from. Or it might be all clear and then he knows that they're okay. That's why they check ears. Sometimes dad can hardly lift a big dog onto the examining table. This dog weighs 105 pounds. Sometimes dad clips a pet's hair so he can put medicine on a cut. Dad gives medicine for a pet. So this one, that's a big dog, not like that two pound cat. And then right here, this doggy, he has a scratch, so they have to shave away his fur so that the medicine will go on the scratch and not just sit on his fur. And then here he's giving another pet medicine. Does your pet ever take medicine? Sometimes mine has to. Daddy, mo Daddy mostly sees dogs and cats, sometimes twins. But he all still takes care of rabbits. This one has fleas, a ferret. It needs its ears cleaned and a bird. It lost some feathers and it was flying a little funny. So see, he takes more, takes care of more than just dogs and cats. Bunny, a ferret, a bird. Every day my dad does surgery. He gives the animals anesthesia. He cuts 
makes a cut, removes the sick part, and sews it back up. Later, the animals wake up. The workday is over, daddy is tired, and soon he will go home. At home, we have our own pets. The cat's names are Alice, Peter, and Johnny. I feed them in the morning and the evening. So he has to give pets anesthesia, that's a big word. Anesthesia is something that makes you really sleepy and you go to sleep for a little bit and then you wake up and everything's over. So you don't feel any pain or get hurt or anything like that. I like to play veterinarian. I listen to my cat's heartbeat with a, what's she using? A stethoscope. I feel his tummy and I look into his ears. Oh, she's following all the steps her dad does. Sometimes dad takes care of animals on a farm. Today we go with him. First, he checks out a horse. He looks at her tongue and her teeth and he inspects her hooves. She is just fine. Come on up, Peanut, he says. <gasps> look, they get to ride the horse that he just checked said everything with her was all good, just like Pete the Cat says. The chickens are healthy, the shells on their eggs are strong, and Dad feels the glands in a steer's neck. We have glands too. Sometimes our doctors, when they're giving us a checkup, you might feel them push here on your throat. They're checking your glands, because if your glands are swollen, they can feel that and they know that you're not feeling good and that you're sick. That's a good way to tell. So it's the same thing that he's doing here. Dad waits to see if the sheep are friendly before finding out if they have coughs. Oh, so he wants to make sure that they feel safe with him before he checks them. All the animals on this farm are healthy and we have a good time. I like to go with daddy on his farm calls. I am going to be a vet. The end. All right, friends, I hope you liked our story about the little girl whose dad was a veterinarian. Now she wants to be a veterinarian too. Did you want to be a veterinarian ever? That would be a lot of fun. You get to take care of animals and help them feel better. It's a very important job, but you don't have to be a veterinarian. You can be anything you want, but that is one of our community helpers that we are learning about. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.